Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the daily tune-up today. Each day when we are focused on our lives, many times things get around us, get on the other side of us. You've heard me talk now for a couple of years here on the tune-ups that we're becoming somewhat overwhelmed with information. A lot of people watch the news, think they're actually watching the news. And there's a whole new alternative media being developed that's really bringing across more truths about what's really going on in the world than we even believed was possible. I urge you to watch our NeuroNuts program starting next Monday evening at 7 o'clock. We're going to show you some things that we really believe you ought to know and figure out for yourself. Today, we're moved into the Christmas season now, and New Year is right around the corner here on us, and time flies. Boy, it gets faster and faster all the time. Many of you are telling me that you just don't have enough time to do everything that you have to do anymore, and you can't figure out how come. One of the reasons is, as we move into this information age, I really believe if there's a World War III, it's going to be about information and the battle of our mind, our will, and the power of good versus evil. In your mind right now, if you think thoughts that aren't pure, if you think thoughts that are negative, if you think thoughts that are self-desecrating, it's time to stop and start loving yourself and start looking at the opportunities you have each day to make differences in the people around you. You see, if we can start one person at a time, that turns into a viral movement of goodwill. There's mathematical equations right now showing, even though there's seven billion people here on the earth, the good news is we don't have to turn every one of them around. If the majority of us, in fact a very small majority, just a few million will think the same way, it's going to start turning the tide on what's going on in the world. And believe me, there's a lot going on. This is affecting you and your life. There's energy out there that gets perpetuated by other people's negative thinking, other people's vibes, other people's thoughts. Many people think that's a bunch of nonsense. It really is the truth. I'm sure you've had the experience of being in a perfectly good mood and all of a sudden you went somewhere and your whole mood, your whole feelings changed. That's because of the energy in that area has imperpetrated upon you and perforated your goodwill and your good intentions and it caught you off guard. During this Christmas season, moving into the new year, I want you to pay particular attention to the environment you're around and put up a force field around you of protection that allows your good intentions, your good energy, to be protected within yourself so it doesn't affect you when you're around negative people. I always say get the negative people out of your life. If you have people in your life that are negative, if you have people in your life that are naysayers, it's time to move on and find cheerleaders, people that love you, that care about you, that are supportive of you. And share your good intentions with other people and the people that matter, the people that care. Quit wasting your time on people and attempting to turn naysayers around. They have their own cross to bear. So today, I guess the lesson of today is be careful what you listen to, check your own sources, protect yourself with good energy, focus on what you can do, not what you can't do, and allow this Christmas season, this year, to teach you something so next year there's something new that you can add to it to make it even better. And by the way, I believe 212 can be a good year. I'm not so sure about all the negative vibes going on about it. I think that it's up to all of us to make it even better than this year. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to really clean up your thoughts, clean up your mind, and stay around positive people. Bye-bye.